Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten VHS Tales. But before we get started, what are you drinking? Today I am drinking Camp Crystal Lake Kolsch. <laughs> yeah. What are you drinking? Wolf's Bane Bitter, mm. still. <laughs> Today we're going to bring to you a little VHS tale about Dragon the Bruce Lee story, <laughs> which we now have kind of dubbed... Dragon the bullshit story. <laughs> yeah, none of it is real at all. I actually saw this when it first came out. I saw it in the theaters, and fuck, such a wicked movie. So I told Adam about it, and we had the pay-per-view channel at the time, so when it came on, like, what, six months later or yeah, something, yeah. I taped it off of off of pay-per-view. Lent it to me. And lent it to Adam. Yeah, I remember watching it. Popped it in. First of all, you <laughs> taped it on the, 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 the super long play, the SLP or whatever. Yeah. And the thing was like, like watching it through a snowstorm. It was <laughs> so, so fucking shitty. grainy and <laughs> shitty. But I still loved the movie. Loved it. And yeah. how can you not love this movie as a kid? Yeah. It's got everything you want. It's got action and romance and killer fucking score. The <laughs> yep. score for this movie is so good. But... As good as a movie it is, <laughs> as we became older and you started to learn things and actually do your research and realize none of this ever <laughs> happened. Yeah. Like, yeah, Bruce Lee lived and existed on this earth and he was in those movies and died. Yeah. But that's about yeah, it. Yeah, that's all. Uh, that's, that's all that's real in the movie, really. yeah. It's like, let's just start from the beginning here. Like, when he's... What, in Hong Kong or whatever, and he fights those sailors? <laughs> <laughs> and his shirt gets all torn open, and he's all strong and greasy. And he's all greasy. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps on that table and eats that cheese. Like, I'm sure that happened. Yeah, that happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's, when he's fighting the guy, he's all whoop, 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 whoop. doing like this. Typical Bruce Lee sounds, like from the movies, like, why would you do that in real life? Yeah, he did that for the movies, <laughs> yeah, for, you know, charisma, but in a real fight? Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, no I, I don't think so. And then he, like, has to flee to America because of this fight. Yeah. He's on that ship with all those other, like, sweaty Asian guys. James Dean. French fries. fries. Sky's limit, that's what they say. That restaurant? That oh, oh, that fight in that restaurant. It's like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, yeah. Lee, pick it up. Pick it up, Lee. Lee, pick it up. Then he gets into a fight with all these cooks in this yeah. restaurant. And of course, they all know kung fu because they're Asian. Yeah, exactly. Fighting on those beams. Like, they go up on, the, on these support beams and like with these meat cleavers. And yeah. Coming, getting closer, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. balancing on those beams, like, yeah, right. That never happened. <laughs> Bruce Lee didn't fight on beams with chefs. The set of that movie with the, you hurt my brother. Yeah. You can't walk right. You can't, can't talk, talk right. right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's all that ice yeah. and everything. He <laughs> punches through those giant ice blocks. When he fights the guy so he can continue to teach the white White man. Wong Jack Wong Man. Wong Jack yeah, Man, yeah. yeah. That's that, a wicked fight. And that fight took place in real life. Like, that's, like, that moment happened, but it didn't happen in some weird hidden temple in Chinatown <laughs> with all these master guys sitting there. Like, <laughs> when he catches his leg and that, his foot and his leg, or everything's like, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. <laughs> Bruce Lee's all crippled, which apparently in real life he pulled his back really bad once and yeah. was out of commission. He wasn't <laughs> crippled from this fight. <laughs> in like traction for like months. Wong Jack Man for sure didn't show up at the karate championships there yeah, to yeah, challenge yeah. him again. I beat him before! I, I beat, beat him, him again! again. Yeah. That never happened. <laughs> I beat any man in this room in 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah. None of that None happened. Of that happened. <laughs> The whole kung fu thing, like how yeah, where he, like he, the... he invented the idea for the kung fu TV show. 
That's that, all bullshit. That never happened either. No, yeah. like he auditioned for kung fu and didn't get the part because his English was not good enough. So they gave it to my man David Carradine. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing about him fighting like that demon, that right? That demon his, thing. His like was... internal demons yeah. or whatever. What the fuck is yeah. that? Run and run and run! Yeah. Run and run! <laughs> and he's all knocking his head against the wall and all the, that whole thing. I guess they're trying to link this kind of Lee curse thing, you know, cause, because yeah, I guess he had to kill the demon so it doesn't get to Brandon, but it did get to Brandon because Brandon Lee died. It's still yeah. stupid. It makes, again, it makes for a good movie. Movie, yes. <laughs> but uh, where all that shit comes from, who the hell thought of all this crap? Then it comes to the climax at the end of the movie where, like, yeah, he beats the demon on the set of Enter the Dragon. Yeah. And then it just ends with, like, this narration by Linda saying, you know, then, then Bruce died of mysterious circumstances. The movie's a yeah. big love story. He was with some some mistress when he died and everything yeah, in real yeah, exactly, life. Like yeah. he was with this other woman and it's like, They're yeah. all glossing yeah. over all <laughs> that over shit. All that stuff. Like, yeah, okay. All the seedy Bruce Lee stuff. <laughs> yeah, <I> gotta... <laughs> yeah. Let's just make him into a, a god, yeah. essentially, right? Linda Bruce love stories, good for the movies, but in real life, kind of a little bit of, <laughs> again, bullshit. Yeah, so yeah, Dragon the Bruce Lee story, still a very enjoyable movie. Like, I'd watched it not too long ago and it's, loved it and had a blast, but... It's a fantastic movie, but I, it's all bullshit. <laughs> it's all bullshit, but it's got a wicked soundtrack. Like, yeah. right from the beginning, right? Right oh, from the opening. That score is breathtaking. Yeah, it's awesome. Jason Scott Lee. Jason Scott I mean, Lee, the, the, the main lead who mm -hmm. plays Bruce Lee, he's great. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not in more things. Like, fuck, he should have played, like, Liu Kang in the Mortal Kombat movie, you know? He should have He should have had a lot of, a lot more roles than what yeah. he did. After. Because not only did he play, you know, a, a good Bruce Lee, he had real decent acting chops. Yeah. So that's our little VHS tale from uh, really liking Dragon the Bruce Lee story as kids and realizing it's all bullshit. It's all a lie. <laughs> but still a very good, still very enjoyable movie. Exactly. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out, but don't believe anything. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time, keep drinking. And pick it up! <laughs> pick it up, Lee! <laughs>